Oh my gosh, okay. We are hopefully a step further in the baby process. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> We're gonna go stop by Air One and try Bella Hadid's $23 smoothie. I'm so scared. <laughs> You know that if I break one of my fake ankles, I have to be airlifted out of here. The gender results are in our inboxes. This is the weirdest gender reveal. <laughs> uh, it, uh, what a way uh, to start a vlog. No, you... You know when you had shaved your face and you were like covering it and wearing a mask because you felt so ugly? I feel the exact same way and it's because I shaved for his podcast and now I have to deal with looking like this for five plus days. For whose podcast? <gasps> Yours, no. the Shane Dawson podcast. For Cast. your husband's podcast. Oh Thank you. Oh my gosh. I think you look cute. It's a sad, depressing day, so we thought we would go out and try to have a little bit of fun. We're gonna go stop by Air One and try Bella Hadid's $23 smoothie. Maybe they're confused and triggered because they're, they, <laughs> because their dad is now a 12 year old boy. What? It was a joke about your face. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I had almost forgotten about it for five and a half seconds. Ooh, until also, another plan for today is the first day we got back to LA, we went shopping and we went to a bookstore and I found a book called The Amazing Baby Name Book. And because you hate all of my baby name ideas, I thought maybe uh, this one would have some good ideas in it. Like, like for example, Electra. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Ooh, Rauschenberg. Let me see the first one I get to. Okay. Hmm. Iris. <laughs> Wait, but this is, is this offensive to like the Iris is watching? That's a good name, it's a good name, it's a good name. <laughs> okay, second one, Swan. I don't know. We're gonna have to look deeper into this book later. You know what a good girl name is? Riley, let's get rid of you. <laughs> wow, I am so upset. Shane? Huh? Look how disgusting I look. Oh, you've ruined my job. I can't film like this. I look hideous. I, okay, first of all, I feel hideous every day of my life and I still bring it for your vlogs, baby. <laughs> okay, so I have the book here as a backup. This is the book that we originally, that I told you guys about in the last video, that we found at Target and when I opened it, it said, Barry, I love you very much. And that's when I was like, it's a sign, that's our kid's name. The name was gonna be Barry, but spelled <laughs> like bear, Barry. And then you were like, yeah. And then two months later you were like, um, so maybe there's another name in this book. I don't think- Ooh, Seal. <laughs> kind of iconic. I really think we'll have like a long list of potential names and until the baby pops out and a name is just like screaming at us. Squeak. Hey, Squeak. Squeaky. No, I'm not doing Squeak. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. Okay, sorry, we'll go back to this book. Ooh, Quantum. What is this? <laughs> is this a prank book? This is a Calabasas book for sure. Ooh, Quinoa. <laughs> oh, Wait a minute. I look so bad. Oh my bad. God, hold on. I didn't actually read what this book was. What is I it? am such an idiot. A possibly helpful guide to slightly amusing names. And the whole point of the book is, these are names that the author didn't choose because they were too weird. Well, maybe if we read it, it will inspire something. <laughs> Utah. <gasps> Uno. Oh my God, Uno. Wow. All right, let's go get our expensive smoothie. Ooh, smoothie. <laughs> when your boyfriend leaves you behind. <laughs> it's so wet. Oh my gosh, it is wet out there, girls. Here we have the Bella Hadid smoothie. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see what was in it. Can you get it out of the sleeves and what show it? it? I have no idea. This is the Bella Hadid. I just have seen Ooh, the girlies big. say. Spin, give it a spin. Ooh. Wow. Can you mix it? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. Is it pineapple? Is that what's yellow? I don't like it. It's okay. It tastes like powder. Mm. I've oh. come to realize that I don't like this place and it stinks. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's like mango. 
Honestly, pretty good. It's really good. <laughs> Am I, does she have stands? Am I gonna get in trouble? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if she's, she's probably really nice. I, I think it tastes kind of like powder. And that, and that um, grocery store stinks. Yeah. It no. stinks like feet and fish. <laughs> It's weird, right? It's like it's like a place for like rich people to go shopping. Like everything's so expensive, but it stinks like fish. And then I started thinking, why do rich people want to stink? Like they like stinky food. Because if you tell them it's all organic, but it stinks, they're gonna be hyped about or it. Or like lobster stinks, like shrimp stinks. I also got like way too expensive of a green juice. I got a well. Oh my gosh, where's my wellness shot? Oh, I found my wellness shot. I was so Hadid. <laughs> where's my wellness shot? Let me chug this, baby. Oh yeah. Mm. You guys miss Colorado too, right? <gasps> you do? Okay, good. Should we go back? <laughs> I was the one that said we could sell this house and you said we have to hold for a second. Well, yeah, I want it to be worth more. I feel like the market's really bad right now. Do you want to try this? Nope. Oh my gosh, it's a good one. <laughs> I don't like wellness shops that don't pack a punch and this does like hurts a little bit, which makes you feel like something's happening. I love you. Okay, we're gonna give a haul of our other thing. We got kale chips. I don't know if this is gonna be gross or not. Well, it looked kind of gross. But recently, hello. You're well, being a bad cameraman. Oh, sorry. Your angle is so bad, Shane, and you're always criticizing me. You are so bad at this. Thank you. Now you know how hard it is to be a cameraman. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, you might want to get out of the car for this one. Oh, Thank God, God, now I'm lit. It looks like a big yak shit. <laughs> oh, new misophonia unlocked. Because it's crunchy, but it's also wet. That, ooh, that's horrible. Whoa. But I love you. It actually has like a, oh. It, I liked it for a second. And it then the stinks. aftertaste was Everything like. Everything here stinks. Well, hold on, let me try the ranch one. No, it stinks. Okay, well, here, let me put it back in. Oh my God, this stunk. <laughs> I bet the people that eat at Air, uh, Air One have the worst shits. We're not, oh. <laughs> I have the worst shits and I don't even eat there. Can you imagine my shits if I did? <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, okay. We are hopefully a step further in the baby process because we just got our, what is it, embryo genetic tests? I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm like panicking, I'm not panicking, I'm excited. I'm like, my heart's racing. So the donor had her retrieval. She got 19 eggs retrieved. Of those, 11 became embryos. Those were sent off for testing and now we have the test results for the 11 embryos that were frozen. So I think this means we'll see like how many of the 11 could potentially go to pregnancy. An update on the surrogate is that she just flew to LA to have her final health check. If all of that checks out and these egg results are are good, we'll hopefully be able to get pregnant. <laughs> we. I mean, yeah, all three of us. Okay, let me see, document, or no, it'd probably be lab results. Retrieval report. <gasps> Wait, what, what, what? It just, okay, PGT results summary. I mean, it might take us a second to like comprehend these. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm like waiting for. Like I'm like scared, but I don't know why. What does that mean? Normal? What okay. does that mean? So it says normal embryos six, mosaic four, abnormal mean? one. What is mosaic? Um, let's Wait, what see. Does it say? If you'd like to know the sex of these embryos or see a copy of the report, feel free to reach out to the lab. So I guess just email them and ask. Yeah. What is mosaic? Let mean? me Google. Yeah, what this stuff means. Okay, so we haven't got on the phone with our doctor just yet, but after some Googling, I've discovered that, yeah, we have six that could go to pregnancy. We don't know of those six uh, which have my sperm, which have Shane's, and they know the gender of those. So, like, if we don't choose gender, what? The sex. Oh, they know <laughs> the sex. <laughs> Sorry, I'm learning. Uh, they like, if we don't choose the sex of our child, uh, the doctor will, but I guess it's also gonna be really interesting just to see what's in each of these embryos that are normal. <laughs> well, that's what they're called. It's literally like called normal epileoid embryos, so. Well, we looked it up too and it said that a good cycle for an egg donor is if they have three to five epiloid normal embryos. And our girl had six. So that is, also wait, we haven't talked about that whole update. What? Well, just that like, okay, <laughs> egg donor tea. <laughs> <laughs> the 
how specific nobody asked for it. Here it is. Um, so she came to LA and she was, you know, they were retrieving the eggs. So then I was like, okay, we're in LA. So then I emailed the clinic and I was like, uh, is it weird? Because we met her on FaceTime. We talked about that before. So we're like, sorry, they're working on the roof. Um, did you find any eggs up there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, we sent her a letter like while she was recovering. We didn't hear back right away, which is fine because she was recovering. But then later that night, she wrote us and she was like so sweet. And then she goes, and I hope this isn't inappropriate, but I was trying to send you a letter back, but the clinic wasn't open. So then I like found you guys on Instagram and I DM'd you like the letter. But now then I deleted it because I was like, is that weird? Because like I'm giving you eggs and now I'm on Instagram. Whatever. It was so cute. And she's, I just love her so much. I'm so, like, I'm so happy that one day our kids will like get to know who their biological mother or who their who they came from and listen we're not like putting the stress of her being the biological no, mother no, no. uh with mother responsibilities but i just think being able even if it's a facetime like being open to that which she is and was i just think is incredible yeah it was just the best day ever that was an amazing day so that was really exciting and now we have the results oh, i'm so excited okay what are we gonna do well what are we gonna pick what if okay listen, i'm okay. i don't want to get too scared like if they say like oh all of shane's sperm like burnt up stop <laughs> Fish. I would be Stop. okay because that's what God and the universe wants. So I'd be, I totally would trust it. It's so funny because while we're doing this, we're like, oh, we're gonna like coordinate with astrological signs, but it really is like not on our timing. It's on God's timeline. The baby's going to come when it's meant to be, even though we're not having a baby in the traditional route. So yes, whatever these six embryos are made up of is going to be what the world had mapped out for us. Wow, I'm excited i'm not nervous i'm excited no i yes everything's gonna happen the way it's supposed to happen names stop it we gotta stop doing names every five seconds let's get pregnant and then go over that hurdle okay we'll come back when we after we talk to our doctor and have more solid updates okay update we're so stupid so stupid this whole time i thought our egg donor there are other people in the house Sorry, there's people working on the house. Can we go to my office or something? Yeah. Let's go to my office. We're so, not stupid, but just unaware. Like I had thought our results were in combination. I thought our portal was one of the same, but it turns out she had 18 eggs that were inseminated by me and 17 that were inseminated by Shane. I have my own report. That was his report. So on my report, I have also the same, six. <laughs> so we both have six babies. This is too much to take. This is too much to process. I need to lay down. I'm already a father of 12 children. <sighs> what does that even mean? Okay, so, okay, wait. So, okay, they're gonna call us today and tell us the sexes of, uh, of the babies. And then we have to figure out which ones we wanna do first. Do we wanna do twins? Do we wanna try for quadruplets? What does that mean? So, okay, so we both have children. The same number, that's crazy. Which is absolutely insane. So she actually had 35 eggs on this retrieval cycle. And of those, we each have six that are, what do they call them? The, em the embryos that are good to go to pregnancy. So what do we do? How do we choose? I don't know. Do we have a battle? <laughs> like, do we make the eggs like fight? I was hearing a lot of people. So like, if you implant, Three eggs, you have a 95% chance. They don't chance. do that anymore. They don't? No. They only do one. Oh. Because that was like before the science caught up. Before, they would take three embryos and be like, well, hopefully one works. And then rarely, like triplets would happen or twins. Now, it's pretty like the science is there. So they only implant what they think is going to work. Oh, here I was thinking like maybe we could do one of each and like... Hope and just like let. Well, no, we, I think I'm not a scientist. I am a stylist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be styling our baby. Ooh, oh my god. But we have to make sure it's like not brand names. We don't want too bougie of a baby. Okay, Shane. Sure, okay, I got I got I got <laughs> Um, bougie, that's cute. Okay, sorry. Um, no, so I think I'm not a scientist, but I think we could take one of yours and one of mine and they're twins. But they're not identical because they're different sperms. But, but I also might be wrong. Then we they would that. share the same biological mother and I feel like they'd have an intense bond. Also, I also RuPaul calls herself mother. Just, that's a side note. Side note, sorry, sorry. I make jokes when I'm nervous. 
this is crazy. Okay, so, wow. wait, so, wait, what do you think? Girl, <gasps> boy, I think so. Oh. Girl, boy. Yes, if we're doing twins, girl, boy. Boy, who's doing who? Girl, boy. Boy, okay. Because I, I like the idea of a girl, boy twin, because then they're not like competing too much. But then again, all the twins out there, let us know in the comments. We also we have, twins? We have to check with our surrogate, make sure that's something oh, she's yeah. even open to. Like she could just say flat out no. <laughs> and all, Quick question. <laughs> How bloated do you want to be for nine months? <laughs> and we're just now waiting on the surrogate's final health report, and hopefully we can you move forward soon. Me. I'm just so, like, I cannot believe we have- Put your calculator out. <laughs> Because I couldn't do 18 plus 17, which is I now know 35 eggs that were retrieved to make the 12 that we now have. We can potentially have 12 children. We're not doing that. I think we're going to max out at three, but probably two. So I'm going to help them with their homework. <laughs> <laughs> and you help them with, with the their, streets. With their, their um, physical activities. Well, and how to navigate the mean world that's out there. I think I can help with that too. <laughs> okay, bye. It's the new us. I have Shane out on a hike. Never. I can't believe I'm on a hike. Never in a million years did I think I, I would. I heard somebody scream. I, I just heard somebody die. Did you hear that? <laughs> Stop it. I heard, no I did. <laughs> no, it's so gorgeous up here. Wow. How am I going to do this in my heels? <laughs> Extremely hot area. You. Sorry, it says no dogs, you have to go back. <laughs> Wait, we don't have time for this. As we're leaving the house all morning long, I'm like, oh, we're gonna go on a hike, and Shane's like, yeah, I'm so excited. And then we leave the house, and he goes, I have to be back by three. And I was like, Shane, it's 1.15. This is a three mile oh, hike. I know that hikes take this long. Why does this look like dinosaur bones? Every <laughs> Doesn't it look down? <laughs> is that a Rex? Oh my God, mother. <laughs> Do we have to run? We have to run, right? We don't have time for this. I don't have time, I have 12 kids. <laughs> you keep saying we have 12 kids. Hurry. Yeah, we do gotta go. I'm sorry, what is that? What in the San Andreas? What in the 2012? That the earth is splitting. You want me to jump over that? Who are you, Dwayne Rock Jump? This is the moment where the single working mother who has no strength has to risk her life to save her 12 children. I'm coming! Everybody applauds. <laughs> this is quite the look. Thank you, come on. Oh my gosh. This is what a hike is? Yes. This is horrible. <laughs> It's, you can't even walk, look at this. That looks like my ass. He's trying to run and then we hit an incline and he's like, what, what? Well, I, I, I thought a hike was like, you know, you know how you see on TV, like like on those rally shows where the girls are like walking up the mountain and they're like, oh my God, Todd cheated again. Chrissy, leave him. I know I would, but here's a G-Wagon. Sorry, I'm just talking about my own life. Stop but this is like <laughs> fucking what is like a mission in like a video game. Yeah, and there's a copter ready to pick us up if something bad happens. This is giving Last of Us. And I can't do that, I have four kids. No, Runyon Canyon is a little more like casual, but we're in the Santa Monica Mountains, baby. I need to go home. What is that? A what fork in the road. Oh Lord. We go left. His eggs are my eggs. His eggs are my Stop. eggs. Well, his, oh. literally his, if it's this way. His, let's do this. I can see this on my phone. You go to Google Maps, you just search, you press the little goggles, you're there, baby. Why are we doing this? <laughs> oh no. Okay, mother's close. She knows we stole her 12 eggs. Okay, we have to go. Ooh, you do not want to be around mother when you, she's angry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a good workout. It's kind of like we just went really far to get on a Disneyland ride. That's not actually a ride, it's just a rock. <laughs> it's 
so now what? You know what I mean? I love you. Well, I think we're almost gonna get over the mountain to where we have ocean views. And it's a nice outdoor activity. So like, are we trying to talk about those new crispy chicken wings or not? I mean, after this, yeah, we can. Oh God. Wow. Oh my gosh. Are we supposed to be here? This feels like a place where they do sacrifices. No. You think I could do this? You know I have two fake ankles, right? <laughs> Literally, they're fake. Okay, just take it really slow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad I forced us to keep going. This is even better than I could have imagined. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we did it! This is crazy, you can't deny that. No, it's really, it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. You can see downtown LA, Culver City, Beverly Hills. You can see absolutely everything. <gasps> and the sun glistening on the water. Okay, I wanted us to sit on this rock and just have like a nice this conversation in front of the ocean. I can't you're filming, I'm so scared. <laughs> you know that if I break one of my fake ankles, I have to be airlifted out of here. <laughs> and he's just stuck on the overview rock. I can't be airlifted on the same day that we find out we have 12 babies. This is so scary. You're gonna fall. I'm so scared. I'm Shane, baking. stop it. I'm scared. He's not. <laughs> no, I am. Okay, well then, cr bear crawl How your do way I get back out? down. Just crawl your way back what down. What if I fall down that shaft? You won't, because I'm sitting right here. I'll take the fall, but I won't fall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just got home from our hike and got an email that the gender results are in our inboxes. This is the weirdest gender reveal. <laughs> we have our laptops, we're ready to reveal baby. We have our 12 babies with the two of us. Okay, and wait, so what is it? Okay, who's gonna go first? I don't know what to do, I'm scared. I mean, uh, I guess you go first. Are you sure? Well, yeah, you, Shane's been thinking that like he wants to do a girl with his and a boy with mine. Okay, here we go. Oh, this well, is like scared. so in depth. Hey, wait, I'm oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, I'm so stupid. Hold on. <laughs> it's like tells you chromosomes, so we've got to know. Okay, uh, boys are XY. Girls, girls are XX. Wait, boys are, boys are XY. I feel like I should have already known this. <laughs> girls are wait, XX. Wait, don't look yet. Okay, wait. So. so so only two girls. I'm gonna throw up, I'm so scared. <laughs> and four boys. Wow. That's a lot of boys. Wait, that is funny. Your, I wonder why. Your sperm made lots of boys. <laughs> okay, not mad at it, excited. Okay, we have two girls and four boys. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. What's does there any inf other information that's like important to us on that? Like, does it say anything else besides the sex? Okay, I'm opening mine. I'm not gonna look just yet. Okay, are you ready for mine? Wait, girls are XX. Oh, wow, mine's, okay. Is it the same? Wait. Wait, one, two, three, I have four girls. Four girls and two boys. So we're opposite. Wow. Right? <laughs> we're so are stupid. We stupid. Yes, we are stupid. It's so weird too, because our babies have barcodes. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's very interesting. So we need to write this down. So I have four girls and two boys. You have four boys and two girls. This is yes. so confusing. Follow along everyone. So in total. Oh my gosh. I can't do math wait, like that. No, in total we have six of each. We have, right? Wait, wait, wait. I have four boys, two girls. You have two boys, four girls. Five, six, four. No. Oh my gosh, yeah, we have no. six of each. No, you got it. you did it wrong. No, I did I it. have Shane, I can't I keep doing this. I have two girls and four boys. <laughs> and I have the opposite. No matter what, four plus two is six. That's what I said. So I have two girls, you have four, so that's six. Yes. 
I have four boys, you have two. So six. That's six. Yes. How is that even possible? That we, uh, now we have <laughs> six boys and six girls? It's cheaper by the dozen, baby! <laughs> So we have options. What are we going to do? What does that mean? Well, it's interesting, though, because it is flip-flopped. Like, the majority of yours are the opposite sex of what you had initially, like, preferred. Well, it's not preferred. I, I thought, oh, maybe it would be fun to have a daughter because we don't really have many girls in my bloodline. That sounds creepy, but we don't. Like, it's a lot of sons. That actually makes sense now that I think about it. Okay, I'm curious, though. I want to talk to our doctor and know, like, okay, of the four boys, which boy do we choose? You know, like... I don't like playing God. I don't either. <laughs> but, no, I'm just saying. Like, I wonder Hold if on. there's like the biopsies or the lab results tell them we which one. We have to spin one. the wheel and we'll put a, a barcode on each side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll ask the fertility doctor if the like lab results show more likely to go to pregnancy than any of the others or something. Wow. We have a lot All of right. options. Well. Ah. 